hello friends how are we doing today i am coming back at you with a continuation of my eight month long sketchbook project um i already completed the august and the september flip through so now we are starting with october so i just have some fun stickers down here and the stamps because who doesn't love the usps um spooky stamps um starting out with little ghosties for October. Quote by Frida always. A little piece of a song from Lizzie McAlpine. But I think that my mind is far away. Sort of strange this is. But I think I'll call you anyway. Call collect because baby, this is an over the ocean call. I was listening to a lot of music when I was doing this, I think. It's, got, it's kind of funny going back over your sketchbooks from about a year ago, a little, a little over a year ago. So I believe this was um, Charlotte Day Wilson's Here You Come Again song. Getting into the Halloween spirit with Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein. I took some colored paper, cut it out into a rough shape, and then I utilized my um, brush pen and some white gel pen just to kind of for the contrast for the Bride of Frankenstein. I think the paper got a little dark, but that's a-okay. More cut paper, more ghosty shapes. Spooky season getting started. Um, sometimes I like to just take a pen and do one continuous line. Um, just a little like fun doodle. Colored pencil tests. This was my boyfriend and I went to a local, um, I guess like a rose garden you would call it, just for fun. And I used a, I think it was two Tuscan red of the Cola race just to kind of um, draw some of the roses and just had a good time. Still the art date, draw my boyfriend. Um, having fun with neon. Um, fast fiends are, um, if you close your eyes and you kind of rub your eyes, you might, depending on the person, get those little like bursts of light or little squiggly shapes. I just thought that was kind of fun and I wanted to portray that here. A little skeleton hand. Believe I was watching or rewatching rather um, Pulp Fiction. And I just thought that was a funny phrase. Be cool, honey bun. More gel highlighter action. I really liked um, what it would look like if you overlapped the colors. So it was kind of opaque, but not 100%. You could sort of see through it a little bit, and I thought that was fun. This particular piece, uh, my boyfriend and I went up north to Sedona, and we just kind of sat at a little clearing with a picnic table and I just drew some trees and like the little river and the riverbank. Um, it was very relaxing, very fun. And it was just kind of nice to get out of the heat in the city. This is one of my favorite phrases. Um, my therapist gave it to me to utilize. Um, if you are anything like me, um, sometimes I have I guess imposter syndrome or thoughts that I would tell myself that, hey, you're not good enough, blah, 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 what have you. Um, so I just labeled that little voice in my head, the critic, and it just every time I notice it, trying to get better at it, just telling it, you know what, you're wrong, just go like, just go uh, fuck yourself. So that's just kind of the depiction of that, and I really enjoyed it. Plus, who doesn't like rainbow? Another song lyric here with more rainbow gel um, highlighters. And again, except it's a quote from Morgan Harper Nichols. I was feeling anxious about something, but to be honest, I have no idea what. 
more spooky season, spooky scary skeletons because they're great. Another quote, um, which I really enjoy by Cleo Wade, the spirit is never holding us back from an attitude adjustment. Only the ego does that, which when I heard that, I was like, well, yeah, I see that. <laughs> I wrote this um, a little over a year ago, and to me, it still makes sense. Ever since, you know, the panini happened, I have no concept of time. One of my favorite sentiments, stay weird, always. Hand drawing, hand practice. Another quote, I don't remember where this is from, but it says, never apologize for burning too brightly or collapsing into yourself every night. That is how galaxies are made. We're all stardust. Another song lyric from Nako and Medicine for the People. The more I understand about the human race, the less I comprehend about our purpose and place. And maybe if there was a clear line, the curiosity would satisfy. And a little pumpkin just to kind of finish off the um, October, or I guess you could say jack-o'-lantern really, just with some more brush pen and highlighter because it was fun. And that finishes off October. Thank you so much for joining and hopefully I'll see you next time for another sketchbook walkthrough. Thanks. Bye.